Is there an app store for customizations on Cisco video endpoints? There actually sort of is. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to this app store and show you how you can deploy some of the example applications that are available today with just a mouse click. But before we do that, I wanna show you the website overall. This is roomos.cisco.com. It's a great resource for all things customization to your Cisco video endpoints. When you land at roomos.cisco.com, you'll see a couple different options here. Guides, XAPI, examples, and support, uh, and then feedback and connect as well, which we'll see those in just a second. Guides will take you to a number of high-level overview things, how to structure applications, what different components do, and that type of thing. Certainly explore this and understand it. There's a number of options down the uh, side here that get you introduced to the platform. There's also some uh, other you know, technical details on this side. So again, click through that, check it out. If you're a developer, you'll definitely find that stuff interesting. The XAPI is the actual API documentation. Now this is available uh, from a couple different perspectives. Let me show you here uh, using bookings as an example. If you come in here and you pick a uh, one of these options, you can actually, you know, come in and see the details on how to leverage this API. There's sample JavaScript code, there's command line options, which is the, the original X API, I still use this quite a bit. And then if available, there is also the WebEx Cloud, how to make those API calls as well. So great place to go if you wanna get started quickly. A lot of you are here for examples, which are here. Uh, this is example code written by Cisco or folks at Cisco. You can actually deploy these applications in the boxes here, or you can actually view the code on GitHub or download it and, and bring it down and modify it further. So if we click on this, the GitHub page has dozens of examples. You can click into any of these and inspect the code for yourself and check it out. There's details about what the applications do as you scroll down through here. Uh, you can download the code, fork a repository of your own and modify it, do whatever it is that you wanna do. But anyway, jumping back to the examples themselves, the best way to actually get your endpoint connected to this page to download uh, or load one of these applications is to click the connect button. Now, as you can see, I am already connected. You can simply disconnect if you need to uh, reconnect a different endpoint. You will be prompted if you're not connected to enter your user credentials. One word of caution is your endpoint uses a self-signed certificate by default. So the best way to deal with that is to actually go to the endpoint, log in, and accept that self-signed certificate the first time, and then you'll be good to go. Jumping back to the examples page, you can see the options loaded here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pick uh, the language selector. It opens up, it shows you what the application actually does. There are a couple screenshots. Uh, here's the home screen, and then here is the language selection. Either way, when you're ready to install this, you can actually click install, and it will show you the names of the files that will be loaded. So the JavaScript file is actually the code that runs, that's the macro, and then the language selector uh, XML file is the XML code that displays the user interface. This is how you define the button, give it a title, and that type of thing. So when I click install, it takes just a second to install, and there you go. You see that that was added to my endpoint as well. If for some reason I don't want this, or if it is uh, corrupted or not working right, I have the option to reinstall, uninstall uh, accordingly. When you're done, click out of it, you're good to go. Getting the application deployed is that easy. Now I have an additional button on the screen here called language. We'll go ahead and press that. And you see uh, the different language options listed. It's using English by default. I can select, you know, Norwegian, Arabic, Chinese, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and change it and go from there. So I selected Spanish and, um, you know, the user interface is now configured in Spanish. There's dozens of applications different ways to leverage these video endpoints. So check out the repository for other options. I wanna thank you for watching. If you have questions, comments, tips, tricks, leave them in the video discussion section below. We'll see you soon.